I think it was quite brave to agree to be one of the, was it the first department? So one of the first departments assessed. Uh, so you might say almost, you know, <laughs> foolhardy, but it's worked out for us. So I'm extremely pleased. Uh, and I'm glad that we've helped develop the process uh, for you guys as well. So I hope it's been useful for the Royal College as well. And as I say, as a missus, I can't take any credit for it, but I'm still very proud to be uh, the medical director of the hospital, which has got the first anaesthetic department accredited by the Royal College of Medicine. So thank you very much. Good morning everyone, uh, I'm JP Van Damme, the President of the Royal College, and it's my great pleasure to congratulate the Trust and its anaesthetic department on being the first hospital uh, in the UK to meet uh, the AXA standards. Uh, I'm particularly proud that it's here at Homerton actually, I was a Barts graduate, um, I remember when this hospital was built uh, in 1986, and at that time it was obviously they brought together St. Leonard's, where I did my house jobs, or part of my respiratory house jobs, St. Matthew's, the Mother's Hospital, uh, which uh, Dave will remember very well, uh, which was the maternity hospital, uh, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital for Children, the German and Eastern and Hackney. But I was also an SR here at Homerton, and I came here in April 87, when it was just the H block uh, behind you. Uh, and uh, at that time, it was my first SR job, they were very welcoming to me. So it's a great pleasure to be back here today and give me great pride to see that you were the first hospital in the UK to be awarded uh, AXA status. Of course, AXA, it's not a breeze, it's not a given. It's a, it's a very exacting process uh, and it's done with an intention. It follows on from perhaps some of the adverse uh, reports that we've seen in respect of certain trusts, such as mid-staffs, comes on the back of the Keogh report, comes on the back of the Berwick reviews, etc. It went live, obviously, uh, June last year. It is a unique scheme in that it's uh, administered by the college. It's there to try and improve uh, services for patients, but also the environment within which our fellows and members work. And I think that as an evidence-based process. It's, it's, uh, it allows you to check the gap analysis, it allows you to show how far away you are from uh, the, what are the standards that we uh, expect of a department and you can build up to that and it's this trust in particular has shown that it's been able to bridge that gap extremely uh, quickly, effectively uh, and it is uh, Perhaps a you will be lauded. We've already tweeted it out this morning, so the Homerton will be on the college is on the college tweet site, and this afternoon we will be putting it out in our uh, news feeds uh, and in the president's statement for November. What's particularly gratifying to us, though, is that external to the college, the regulators have accepted this process as being uh, a marker of quality, uh, and you will be aware that the CQC. Uh, have now accepted the fact that if a trust has access standards for anaesthesia, they will uh, look at that trust favourably in terms of their CQC inspection and the standards uh, with which uh, they operate. So it's with great pleasure that, uh, firstly, I thank you for all your hard work. I thank my own inspection team for the hard work that they've put in into delivering this. Uh, I think you will be, uh, you are exemplars for the rest of the United Kingdom and we'd like to, to present you with this uh, plan. louder for Dr. Howell in the back. <laughs> um, so it all started um, August 15th last year. Officially, that was the start of it. That was the day that Lionel Davis, who unfortunately cannot be here today because he's at the London anaesthetizer, um, 
phoned up Axa and said, we'd like to come along and have a chat about this Axa stuff. Of course, it started way before then when I sat at the Royal College at the Clinical Directors Meeting and I listened to Peter Ben uh, lay out a case. And it was towards the end of the day, as I remember, it was about three o'clock in the afternoon. It was after lunch. I was sitting there thinking, I've had enough and I want to go home. And then my ears pricked up and I thought, wow, great idea. Um, I don't look it, but I'm old enough to remember the times when the college would come round for a visit um, and, and you know, there were standards of all scurry around and said, you have to have this, you have to have that. And we sort of lost something um, when those visits stopped and th those drivers for making sure that standard was really quite high in our departments. And so I thought AXA was the perfect thing to fill that space and I said, right, as soon as this is launched, we're going to go for this, and so we did. Little did I know that I was putting myself in whole position to be, you know, first in line. But no matter, I'm glad we had a great outcome. And in fact, a year to the day, 15th of August, I was happy and delighted here from Peter Ben that we had, in fact, and been successful. Um, so what about AXA? What is it? The President's already said something about it. To me, it's like a kite mark. It's a stamp of quality. And I think it's also a landmark in the history of our profession. Um, uh, you know, the college, for, to, for me, represents very high standards. It's what I think about our specialty. Quality, consistency, we're always ahead of the curve compared to other colleges. So that's what I think. Feel free to disagree with me if you're from another college, but I think we're, we're a cut above. Um, every other specialty in terms of what our college delivers for our specialty. I take great pride in what the college does and also in the specialty um, in the UK. And I think compared to the world, we do quite frankly have the best college going. So here, here. Let's not leave out patient safety because all of this is really just about patient safety. That's what we're here for. First of all, do no harm and that's what all of this is about. So for those of you who said, well, why are we doing this? Um, now you know. Um, I, I, I remember very clearly, if I remember nothing else about what felt really traumatic two days of the review team, and please don't take that the wrong way, but you know, you were very thorough. Um, you went through everything, there are 172 standards, no racking days. Um, but you gave us a mentor who was very helpful to us. You were very supportive through the process, but you did your work thoroughly. It was no walk in the park. It was comprehensive, robust, not a walkover. Um, so well, well done to you. I feel assured that you know, for those who say, oh, well, you know, you were the first to go there, but they probably went a bit easy on you. No, they didn't. They did a great job going through everything with a fine tooth comb. They missed nothing. Um, I, I like to think that the Homerton is first in all things. Um, and I particularly like what Peter Venn said to us at the end of the review process, which was, um, the place practically oozes quality. Do you remember saying that, Peter? I love that. <laughs>